Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we have a first impressions, wear test video on the new It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Gear. I have actually tried two foundations from the It Cosmetics line and I don't really like either of them. It is the, you guys know it's the popular in the tube one. For some reason I find that they're like way too thick and they just don't wear on my skin well. I get super oily really fast. So I thought I'd give the foundation a try because I think it's the, oh, it's called the CC Plus. And it just does not work for me. I saw they came out with the foundation and it sounds pretty good. It says water light, medium coverage, natural radiant foundation. It sounds good to me and if it's long wearing, then I'm gonna love it because I love a medium coverage foundation. But before we get into this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload and let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of claims about this. It says natural, no makeup makeup effect, coverage that minimizes pores and imperfections. That's my kind of foundation. And all day hydration and wear. Improves bare skin in two weeks. It's supposed to even the appearance of skin tone, visibly refine skin texture and soften skin. It sounds all great. Hopefully it's long wearing, we'll see. This is what the packaging looks like. It is a glass bottle and it is a pump, which is great. Mine in tan neutral 42, hopefully this should work out. Um, the shade range, at least in the store is I don't think it's that great to be honest maybe online it might be better but in the store there's not that many shades of course you guys know i'm gonna go in with my Tarte timeless smoothing primer in my area where i have larger pores you guys know i always use this when i'm trying a new foundation it's just my go-to but i do have a another primer for all over the face and that is the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer. This is so good. It has that gripping effect, which I love. It looks a lot like the Milk Makeup one. And it feels a lot like it too. It is, I feel like, exactly what it says. It's like a sheer version of the Milk Makeup one. And it's super hydrating. I'm going to bring my hair back. Okay, so you guys know the drill. I'm going to do one side with the brush, one side with the sponge. And we're going to see which one looks better. So I'm going to shake it up really nice. One pump on my sponge. Okay, not a whole lot of ton of product comes out on one pump. So I probably will need to go in with two. But this shade looks really good. Okay, so. Right off the bat, it definitely looks natural. It's not covering up everything. And I'm definitely going to need another pump. But this shade is actually pretty perfect for me. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. But not too glowy. Exactly what it says. This is definitely a natural looking foundation. It's looking pretty. I definitely want to go in with another pump just because I have some breakouts right here. I swear, and right here, I think it's coming from wearing a mask. So, I definitely want to cover those up a little more. But we're going to go in with the brush now. And do one pump. And I'm using my e Cosmetics brush. I'm stippling this on. I feel like I'm getting more coverage with the brush side. Yeah, for some reason with natural foundations, I like to go in with the brush. It gives me a little more coverage and then go over with my sponge just to press it all in because a sponge will kind of take some of that product and it'll make it an even lighter cover. Another pump and applying that to my forehead. I actually didn't need that much for my forehead, but that's okay. I'm just going to work it down here. Okay, so looking closely, I'm definitely liking the brush side more than the sponge side. It's giving me a little more coverage on this side than this side and off of first impressions I'm not liking the way it looks on my nose it's not looking very pretty like it's not looking smooth or anything I don't think it's doing anything for my pores like it says but maybe once I set I might think differently so I'm just gonna add another layer to this side with my brush because that's what I prefer so I'll go ahead and do that just to build up 
that okay so much better now i'm just going to take my sponge and kind of just press over and make sure everything is pressed in really nicely this is going to make sure you get such a smooth seamless finish without any product sitting on top of your skin okay now we'll go in with my favorite concealer right now and that is the makeup forever matte velvet skin in 2.6 this has such a velvety texture exactly like it says and it's so long wearing very pretty on the skin i love how smooth it makes my under eyes look now i'm just gonna blend it out with my sponge if you have not tried this concealer you absolutely need to it is so full coverage while not looking cakey or anything, I hate when I have a full coverage concealer that looks cakey underneath my eyes. And this one does not. It just looks so flawless and smooth. I love it. So that blended out so perfectly. I love the way this is looking so far. Now I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And just set under here. I don't bake, I just press the product into the skin to make sure that this does not budge throughout the day. Because my under eyes do crease and in my T-zone. Because this is where I get oily. Not too tacky, I think I'm gonna be okay without setting that. And it looks good, much better. My nose looks so much better now that I've set it. It looks much smoother and everything is looking nice I'm liking the coverage it's just enough so I'm going to go ahead and finish off my makeup and then I'll be right back. okay guys so I finished off my makeup and I got up to look so I wanted to see it like kind of far away and it looks so good it really does look smooth after I set it everything looks just flawless like almost like I have a filter on my skin it looks so good now I just hope that it'll last long so right now it is 147 and I am getting a little bit of a late start but I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day until it's time for me to go to bed I will do some check-ins though before that so I will see you guys in just a little while okay you guys so it has been about five hours of me wearing this foundation and I am getting a little bit shiny here but I'm gonna Mama. tell yes but I'm gonna tell you that it doesn't look bad like when you look close up here around my nose the shininess doesn't look bad at all. I feel like the lights are really making me look shiny, but in person, it doesn't look super bad. I could literally just blot and be okay, but I like the wear of it. Like, it's not coming off my nose. It's not looking cakey. I'm talking, yeah. So, so far, I really do like the way this is wearing. I think it's looking really good. Everything is still intact. It's looking beautiful. It's not, you know, coming apart or anything. Everything is looking really nice. I'm really impressed by this foundation. So I'm gonna do one more update tonight and I will see you guys then. Okay, you guys, so we have reached the end of the night and as you can tell, I am really where I was earlier, but I did blot at that, was it the, like the five minute mark? Um, and I did get re-oily, but it's nothing like terrible. Like it's not breaking apart or anything. If, if I just blotted some more, it would be perfectly fine. Uh, my chin has, some of it has come off. But other than that, this foundation has wore really well. Like, I was expecting maybe for my nose area to be more shiny. Just because I didn't use my oil and shine control, I just used my my smoothing primer. But I actually don't think it's that bad. If I blot it, I would be perfectly fine right now. I still think it looks really good. Bronzer, highlight, everything is still on. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is my favorite It Cosmetics like foundation, you know, complexion product. This has really worked for my skin. The other stuff that I've tried just never really works for me. It's always too thick and always gets super oily and cakey on me. This doesn't look cakey. Beautiful. It's just that natural, healthy looking foundation. Your skin, but better. I really like it. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. I actually forgot I even had it on and I like touched my face. I really don't have anything negative to say about it. I think it looks good. But that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.